Good morning. Welcome to our daily reflection um, using the Northumbrian Office morning prayer. Let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. And our readings for today. The first reading is from Psalm 116, verses 10 and 11. I believed, therefore I said, I am greatly afflicted. And in my dismay, I said, all men are liars. And the Old Testament reading for today is from Proverbs 22, chapter 11, verses 24. Hang on. Proverbs 22, verses 11 and 24 and 25. He who loves a pure heart and whose speech is gracious, will have the king for his friend. And then 24 and 25. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily angered. For you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. And our Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 I am sending you out like sheep among wolves therefore be shrewd as snakes and gentle as doves therefore be shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves And now heading for today's readings. Instead, cool down excitement and speak your mind. When people submerge their true feelings in order to preserve harmony, they undermine the integrity of a relationship. They buy peace on the surface, but underneath there are hurt feelings, troubling questions and hidden hostilities just waiting to erupt. It's a costly price to pay for a cheap peace, and it inevitably leads to inauthentic relationships. No one says anything unsafe. They never discuss misunderstandings, reveal hurt feelings, air frustrations, or ask difficult questions. Offences occur but nobody talks about them. Doubts about the other's integrity creep in, but they're never dealt with. 
In time, such relationships deteriorate. Those words are written by Bill Hybels. <coughs> Denying our true feelings is not advisable. But calmness can achieve reconciliation more easily than raised voices or recriminations. Cuthbert had difficulty in teaching the rule to some of the monastics on Lindisfarne. At chapter meetings he was often worn down by bitter insults, but would put an end to the arguments simply by rising up and walking out, calm and unruffled. Next day he would give the same admonitions, as though there had been no unpleasantness the previous day. In this way he gradually won the love and obedience of all the brothers. How do you respond when someone says something uncomfortable to you? Do you overcome your natural human instinct to reject it? Do you listen and seek the truth in the other person's concerns? Or do you get angry? Do you slip into denial, retaliation or rationalisation? Well, do you? I don't think I can add anything more to that. That's quite a challenge, isn't it? And I don't know about you, but I think that probably there are times when I do all of those. The meditation for today. Day 26. My Master's Face. No pictured likeness of my Lord I have. He carved no record of his ministry on wood or stone. He left no sculptured tomb, nor parchment dim, but trusted for all memory of him, the heart alone. Who sees this face, but sees in part? Who reads the spirit which it hides, sees all? and needs no more. Thy life in my life, Lord, give thou to me, and then in truth I may forever see my master's face. William Heard Hillier. You might like to pause here and pray for those that the Lord has laid on your heart. We continue with the canticle. Christ as a light illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, and in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. And the blessing into the day ahead. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.